Hi everyone. Today we are going to study IPSLA and what does it do and how we can use it. IPSLA actually stands for Internet Protocol Service Level Agreement. This is a feature of Cisco IOS that allows network engineers to collect information such as response times, latency, jitter and packet loss to, de to determine network performance in real time. It also allows administrator to verify quality of service QoS levels and quickly identify the root of a problem if performance level drops. So how we can use it? I will show you one example in my next slide. We will set up a failover by using the IPSLA. As you can see, IPSLA can be used to achieve WAN links redundancy. We will track the static routes and in case one link goes down, the traffic automatically passes to the second WAN link. In this example, you can see uh, this is the customer edge router which is most probably installed at the uh, site you can say uh, and there are two WAN links one from the ISP1 and the other one is from the ISP2 IP addresses are already configured in my example so I will configure the only IP SLA setup. How I am going to set up it? I will be using the GNS3. In real environment, we can also use the same configurations with just slight modifications. As you can see, uh, in real router, we will have these configurations with just minor change IP SLA 1 with IP SLA 1 we have defined the SLA operation okay and in ICMP echo with uh, we are going to ping the destination IP which is the IP of ISP 1 link by putting the source IP address of our primary link and the timeout 1000 threshold is 2 and frequency defined is 5. IPSL is scheduled. I will show you these examples. Let me open the GNS3. Okay. Here it is. I will access the CE router. Here IP addresses are already configured. This is for the ISP1 and this is for the ISP2. You can say we have two WAN links. Okay. So, uh, actually, you can see IP route. We have only directly connected interfaces and directly connected networks, net IDs. I am using the GNSC example. Here you can see IPSLA1 nice. I define the IPSLA operation uh, and then I will be using the ICMP echo you can say timeout Timeout is 1000. Threshold will be I am using is 2. And frequency I am using is 5 seconds. It will send ICMP echo packet after every 5 seconds. Okay. Now it is done. IPSLA configurations are done. Now let's go to the configuration mode and then I am using IPSLA monitor 
now I need to schedule it let's define start then we need to start this operation as you can see you can define the uh, some time period as well but I am using the first I need to is life what will be life I am using the forever it will uh, it will remain operation forever and start time will be now ok now I need to track the IP SLA operation which I have defined above so let's go to the configuration mode and then track I will track my one object which I have defined above I will be using IP not IP here I will use response time and GM3 ok and then one is the operation number of IPSLA and now I will check the reachability ok it will track the reachability of the IPSLA next I'm going to define the static route ok what I am going to do hmm? I will I will say the, the first van link is my primary link and the second is my backup link ok I want to use the second link in case the first primary link goes down so let's copy it This is my default route, but I what I am doing, I want to track it. Track one which I have defined in my example. Okay? It will track this static route entry. Okay, and the next one I am going to use is IP. Let's copy it. what I will doing I am changing the administrative distance ok the default uh, administrative distance of static route is 1 so I am changing it to 10 because I want to use it as a backup ok now what we will it do let's see huh? uh, first we need to I need to show you some commands to for verification show track you can see it is checking the reachability from last one and one minute and fifty seconds. What does is track? It is tracking the static IP routing, okay, which we have just defined above. You can see the time has changed. Last change was done at two minutes and ten seconds before. Now let's see our static routes. Hmm? You can see traffic is going through 100.100.100.1 hop, which is our primary ISP link. Okay. So in this case traffic is going through the primary link and then goes to towards internet what I am going to do let shut down the primary link from the ISP side ok just open the ISP router which I have you can 
see this is the IP defined on the ISP router we will shut down its interface and then check the behavior let's shut it okay now our primary link is down okay primary link is down from the ISP side you can see IP is up from our side so let's check the static routing tree now it should be now now traf all my traffic is now passing through the scandry ISP link okay we'll show the short track exam example command you can see reachability is now down when does it down 30 seconds before so this is this was the example of IP SLA and we can use it for the IP static routing and in case one link when one link goes down the scandry one link can take its place